<clears throat> Wait, stop, stop, stop. Oh, bro, I haven't started yet. Okay. Uh, just quick disclaimer. I know they said, like, don't take pictures, but I give full consent. Feel free to take pictures and videos of me. I want to see how amazing I look after it. Thank you. Good afternoon. Hope you're all having a great day. My name is Vincent Fan. I'm in grade 12. And I'd like to begin with a bit of a backstory as to how I ended up here today. One year ago, around this time, I was one of you, sitting in the crowd, watching our school's TED Talk event. Something very clear stood out to me from those speeches that inspired me to stand here today. It was the fact that I knew I could do so much better <clears throat> Jokes aside, the speakers were all fantastic. And anyone who has the courage to stand up here and advocate for something they believe in deserves nothing short of a standing ovation. I'm waiting. <clears throat> thank you, thank you, thank you. Halfway through the year, I began to have doubts and lose motivation to speak. I was heavily recruited to make a TED Talk, but I kept thinking that even if I were to express my ideas with utmost sincerity and passion, it still wouldn't bring about any real change. People wouldn't change up their whole lifestyle and do something as inconvenient as biking to school just because of the delusional ramblings of some guy who is overly attached to his dumb bicycle. I didn't mean that, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Our bond is special. We'll get to it is. <clears throat> but, anyway, that was a dark stage in my life. Things just weren't working out too well for me. I wasn't sleeping well. My grades were dropping. I got friends with Thankfully, I eventually climbed out of that dark hole and realized that it was up to me to make people care. I owe a lot of gratitude to my good friend who helped set up this event, and it's actually his birthday today. <clears throat> Give me a second. Thanks to his wisdom and teachings, oh, uh, sorry. His wisdom and teachings convinced me that this TED Talk was an amazing opportunity I could not miss. And that even if it ended up accomplishing nothing, at least I can use it to log cast. <laughs> and that's my introduction. So without further ado, let's get into, among many more, the three reasons why I like the school and why you should do. First, I like the school because it kills two birds with one stone. What I mean is, biking is both a great form of exercise and transportation. Biking primarily works your core and leg muscles. But what's special about this exercise is that it can take you from place to place, meaning you can easily incorporate it into your daily life without having to really change your schedule. Studies show that engaging in regular exercise decreases one's risk for diseases such as heart and bone conditions and leads to overall better health. By biking the school, you're able to burn calories improve cardiovascular health, and strength training, all while going to and from school. Part of what I love about biking school is that it always gives me an excuse to escape bike day. <clears throat> biking is far more convenient than most people think. I live over 8 kilometers from school, and it takes me on average 25 minutes to bike to school and 24 minutes on the way home. What might surprise you is that, on average, it actually takes me less time to bike than drive to school. In mornings and in the afternoon during rush hour, driving can take over 40 minutes from being stuck in traffic. You've all experienced it before. Of course, I'm ridiculously fast at biking. So don't be disappointed if you're not up in the speed at first. 
But once it becomes a regular, everyday thing, you'll improve and see yourself gradually getting better. I highly recommend downloading a cycling app on your phone, such as Strava, to record your rides and track your progress. Second, I like the school because it saves the environment. And more importantly, money. I'm sure everyone knows by now that cars are a leading polluter of our Earth. And I'm sure there might be some cynical people out there who say, who will argue that decreasing your own carbon footprint does nothing in the grand scheme of things because giant corporations are by far the biggest contributors to pollution. So that I say, yeah, perhaps you may be right. However, biking to school makes me feel like I'm doing something good for humanity. And my feelings are what matters most. <laughs> yes, I do. <clears throat> Who knows? Maybe one day the CEO of some top polluter will be driving down St. John in his Ford F-150 pickup truck when all of a sudden he sees me biking to school. And he thinks to himself, wow, that really moves me. I think I'm going to make my company more eco-friendly now. And it starts a whole global movement, and climate change is defeated. My point is, don't be afraid to make change yourself. Don't wait for anything or anyone else to make a change. You yourself can start to make an impact, and others might follow suit. No matter how small, Something is still always better than nothing. As for saving money, unless you drive a Tesla, in which case, good for you. But for the rest of us common folk, gas is expensive. Biking to school means entirely eliminating your use of gas on your daily trips to and from school, which can save quite a decent sum of cash. Let's use the example of someone who lives five kilometers away from school. This person bikes to school every day when possible. There's 180 days of school each year, but let's remove 30 of them because of factors such as weather or anything. This person each year bikes to school 150 times. Two trips to school and going home of 150, or on 150 days of five kilometers equals 1,500 total kilometers. Now, if this person's parents were to drive them every day instead, their car would have spent an extra 3,000 kilometers on the road, since it means going to school, to and from school in the morning and in the afternoon every day. Using current fuel prices, this equates to over $800 saved off of gas. $800, quite a decent amount of money for most people. Perhaps even life-changing money. It sounds a little wild, but think about it. Using current market prices, $800 can buy three shares of Tesla stocks, <laughs> half of a Taylor Swift concert ticket, <laughs> pay off IB tuition fees, I think, <laughs> and better yet, buy three of these bikes from Costco. <laughs> Now to address some common excuses. Some of you might have parents who drop you off at school because it's on the way to their work. My mom sometimes does the same. In that case, invest in a bike rack. Bring your bike on the car to school and bike home. As for those who transit, that's even easier. Biking is so much faster. You don't have to wait for bus times. And if you live on a mountain, just bike to school when it's all downhill and transit back. Of course, if you're determined enough, like me, you can bike up all those hills to really train those quads. I know there are many more excuses, but at the end of the day, the benefits of biking are clear as day, and it's up to you whether you choose to stay lazy or do something that takes more effort but is more rewarding as a result. In this way, biking to school isn't only convenient transportation or exercise but also an aspect of a healthy lifestyle and admirable mentality. Third and finally, 
I bike to school because it improves my mental health and brings me pure joy. One of the most euphoric feelings known to mankind is that of speeding past cars stuck in traffic on your bike, <laughs> seeing their pathetic faces through the windows, <laughs> sitting there in agony as you just breeze past right beside them is a beautiful moment, indescribable with words. I like to stare at the driver of every car as I pass them, just to really rub it in. But in all seriousness, I find that biking to and from school is one of the most peaceful moments of my day. I like to listen to music and use it as a time to relax, to take a moment and distance myself from the various stresses of life. It's honestly therapeutic. With each pedal, you find yourself getting into a rhythm. And slowly, without even realizing it, you'll start to focus on the scenery around you. The trees, the shops, the angry drivers honking at you, the clouds in the sky. Indulging in these short but sweet moments of life, these simple joys of life, makes us realize that there's so much to appreciate around us if we just took a moment to stop bike, and see what was around us. To conclude, I bike to school because it's so exercise and amazing for my physical health being a convenient form of transportation. Because of how much gas and money I save and how I'm helping the environment by doing so. And because of how it builds character and mental resilience in me and makes me to be a more disciplined person. These reasons are why I bike to school and why I hope you will too. Thanks for being an amazing crowd and I'm glad you all learned lots of valuable knowledge today. <laughs>